Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. We are weather alert with those cloudy skies out over town at a high temperature of 85 degrees. The humidity not super high, a little bit more muggy feel outside and these clouds over the top tell me the atmosphere is trying to go. It's trying to get some storms popping, but we got to wait a little bit. Now Pueblo away from the mountains. It is beautiful, warm and sunny with the humidity still kind of high at a temperature of 86 degrees. Now across the region, a couple warmer spots actually. It's Walsenburg, La Junta, Lamar. Although I'll tell you what, Walsenburg got a little rain heading your way out of those southern mountains. That might cool you down just a touch. We're kind of low in the pollen. The weeds are the only thing hanging on to a little bit more. And here's those storms I talked about. Now they probably look and sound kind of nasty if you're in a few areas like just by Stonewall and out east south of La Vida in the high terrain. Probably can watch that big thunderstorm heading over the southern mountains moving its way to Walsenburg. But everything I've checked, this should stay non-severe. That's one little cluster of thunderstorms. Panning up just north of our area to Denver. Got some commutes to and from Denver later today. I've got a lot of storms over the mountains that'll go north first, but we might fill down the city a little bit more so into the afternoon. So just keep your eyes on the skies. If you're heading to Denver and nothing over the mountains outside of Colorado Springs yet, Pueblo, we just saw nice and clear. And in our hour by hour, we do see those thunderstorms filling off the southern mountains right towards Walsenburg, just east of Colorado City. So the model seems to know what it's doing, and it actually kicks off one or two little showers towards Los Animas County. Now, by four o'clock, those couple storms still going outside of Los Animas County, away from Walsenburg, heading towards La Junta. Should stay non-severe, but we've got some big rain up by Denver and storms that fill out through Colorado Springs. This is from four to five o'clock. By 5.30, they've crossed through the city and are hitting the eastern part of the county really hard. Hail threats are still much higher by Calhan, but especially Lincoln up to Lyman, Lincoln County up to Lyman. We'll get a second passing of storms by 6 to 7 o'clock, mostly over Colorado Springs. Not as much action to Pueblo, but still some thunderstorms possible into the early evening. And then past that, we kind of spread the rain out and run it off into the plains. It could be a very wet night east of I-25, especially by 10 to 11 o'clock. But if there were going to be any strong storms, they'd stay over here and we're dry by tomorrow morning. Hail threats still remain about what we think. In eastern El Paso County, it's the most likely area like Calhan, but a little lower threat through the Falcon Fountain area, Colorado Springs, and up into the Tri Lakes. Your extended forecast as we go through time. Weather alerts today, still up in the air, full need one tomorrow. Storms look a little bit less spread out. They could still be on the big side, so we might do it as a caution tomorrow. And then we keep storms into early next week. Pueblo. We've got a lot more warmth, especially over the next couple days. Lower 90s on the map. A couple isolated storms after 6 o'clock through the evening, but then as we go through time, doesn't look as widespread rain either from Friday into Saturday. Canyon City, it seems like you will eventually get some storms to roll off the mountains into town. Temperatures dip a little bit towards Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Some more warmth is there early next week. Finally, Woodland Park. Some big thunderstorms, but I didn't think anything looked severe. And then as we go towards next week, we keep more storms through the region.